Hey guys, welcome to Edmonton Oilers Franchise. This is Stanley Cup Playoffs, episode number 42 of the series. As we look at the brackets here, uh, St. Louis with the 4 0 sweep over the Nashville Predators. The Hawks and Flames are tied at 3. We're trailing the Canucks here 3 2. The Kings already sealed the deal over the Minnesota Wild 4 1. The Pens up 3 2 over the Caps. The Red Wings up 4 1 over the Rangers. The Habs beat the Bruins 4-1, and the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Ottawa Senators are all tied up at three in that series. So we're back in Edmonton here for game number six. The Vancouver Canucks up 3-2 in the series. Must-win situation here for the Oilers, and so far the series has gone chalk. Every home team has won. So the Oilers, we are definitely hoping that that holds true here tonight. Cam Talbot, a 4.34 goals against average. He was yanked in game five in the first period. We're trying to show some faith in Cam Talbot here. He's had an awful series. It might be better to go with Gustafson, but we'll we'll keep our faith in Talbot here that he'll get things going. Uh, here's the pass to the right corner. Beck has it. Beck sends it around the boards. We're in the first period with 14 minutes to go here. Over to Davidson. Davidson. Back around to Beck. Beck to the middle to Letestu. Letestu winds up. Shot from the slot. Saved there. And we've got a penalty coming up against Vancouver. Another shot is saved. Off the stick of Victor Stahlberg. And Spisa's going to the penalty box on, with a tripping penalty. So early power play here for the Oilers. A good opportunity. Shot. Hits his own man. It's loose in front of the net. McDavid can't punch it home. Covered up by Ryan Miller. 30 seconds to go in the power play. Along the left boards. Looking for a centering pass. He's going to skate it in front of the net. It's loose. Edler has it, and he's going to clear. 20 seconds left on the power play. Maybe time for one more rush. Nugent Hopkins across to Dreisaitl on the left wing. Dreisaitl back to Nugent Hopkins. Over to Maroon. He's got a lot of open net there, but his shot is saved. Along the boards, the power play expires. And we've got a penalty coming up here. This time it's against the Oilers with 11.07 to go in the first. It's on Patrick Maroon for tripping. So now Vancouver's on the power play. Puck knocked away. Good save there by Talbot. Good to see Talbot get early saves. Cassian now into the zone alone. He can't track it down. It's knocked away along the boards. They fight for it on the right side. And it's sent back into the Oilers' zone where Sekera picks it up. He'll skate it back behind his net. And he will send it out. And he's able to clear it there. Power play expires. The Oilers kill it off. And we've got another penalty coming up. This one is going to be on, I think it's on uh, two guys at once. Patrick Maroon's in for boarding, and so is Nurse. So we had two boarding penalties before a single whistle right there, both against the Oilers being a little too aggressive here. So it's a big five on three here for the Canucks. A minute and a half left in the five on three. 7.32 to go in the first. Canucks looking to win their fourth game of the series and move on to the second round. In front of the net, Clefbaum has it poked away there. Sutter shot, save, rebound, goal. Brandon Sutter puts it in the back of the net. His second goal of the playoffs, it comes on the five-on-three power play after a turnover deep in the Oilers' zone. So it's one to nothing. Vancouver with six minutes to go in the first. Vancouver along the wall. Nice save there by Cam Talbot with the glove. Face-off win there. And the shot is scored again. Another quick goal. Back to back again. This is Dorset. And Dorset scores. It's two to nothing now in favor of the Canucks. With 5.45 to go in the first period. That's Dorset's second goal of the playoffs. A nice faceoff win there. And uh, Talbot's just helpless in front of the net on that one. Oilers win the draw. Here is Fane. Fane tries to get it behind the net to Eberly. Eberly. Back to Larson. Larson has it. Larson to the middle. Backhand shot blocked there by Miller in the horn sounds. Two to nothing in favor of Vancouver at the end of the first. We head to the second period now. Opening faceoff. Clefbaum has it for the Oilers. To uh, Lucic. Lucic to McDavid in the middle. McDavid holding. McDavid shot on net. Save there. Swallowed up by Ryan Miller. 
19 minutes to go in the second now. Carried across by McDavid. McDavid trying to go on the short side. Shot saved there. McDavid skating circles around the Canucks. McDavid in front of the net and it's poked away. McDavid has it now. He'll get it back to Nurse. Nurse gets knocked off the puck. He gets it back. Shot right in front of the net. No, as he skates it in. Here's Pouliot along the left wing. Back to Pouliot. Pouliot tries to center it across to Maroon, and his shot goes wide. Long pass out to Dreisaitl. Little two-on-two two here. Stahlberg. Stahlberg along the left wing. Stahlberg trying to get it back to the point, and it's taken away by Tampa Bay across the, through the neutral zone. They carry it into the zone. Back to Sutter. Sutter loses it. Back to Edler. Edler pass across. Shot saved by Cam Talbot. Now the Oilers have it. The Oilers out to uh, Connor McDavid. Connor McDavid in front of the net. Backhand. Shot saved there by Miller. Miller has been an impenetrable fortress in this game. Nothing is getting by him. He is dialed in and looking to get Vancouver to the next round. You see a nice save there by Cam Talbot. With 2.55 to go in the second there, it's still 2 to nothing, and that's how the period would end. 2 nothing lead for the Canucks, last period of hockey on the season for the Oilers, unless they can do something here. Here's Cassian, Cassian, pinned into the corner. Cassian gets out of it, around behind the net, to the opposite corner. He tries to send it back around the boards, where it's picked off there by Vancouver. Dreisaitl tries to get it back, but here's Gaunts. Gaunts centering pass to Granlund, Granlund. Ahead to Edom. Edom back to Grandlin. One-timer. Shot scores! I don't know how that got through Cam Talbot, but it did. And midway through the third period, the third goal could be the dagger here in this one. It's 3 to nothing Canucks. Along the boards, they kick it out. Back in front of the net. Burrows, and he goes five-hole. And Cam Talbot, nothing he could do there. The Oilers not, not putting a lot of people back on defense, trying to push the four check and get out ahead and they give up the goal it's four to nothing now it's all they could do it looks like this season might come to an end here's McDavid McDavid shot from the high slot and it's saved there by Miller McDavid again fires it on net Cassian has it crossed ice and that is your game and your series the Vancouver Canucks will move on to the second round. A shutout by Ryan Miller. Fantastic game for him. It is a most noble As we see the handshakes, Vancouver will move on to take on the Los Angeles Kings in the next round. And it is the end of the season for us. And there's some questions to answer during the offseason. One of the main ones is, do we have faith in Cam Talbot going forward? He had a pretty solid regular season, but he was awful in the playoffs. Just awful. And uh, should we reach the playoffs again next year, will we have confidence to put him back out there? Or do we need to go in a different direction? That is something we will look at during the offseason. But we'll save all that talk for the offseason episode of Oilers franchise. But here are the three stars of this one. Where Miller had 36 saves and Granlund a couple of goals. As you look at the playoff tree after this one, the Blackhawks and the Flames are headed to a Game 7, as are the Senators and the Lightning. And uh, Pittsburgh leads Washington three games to two. And I think we'll just go ahead and simulate, simulate out the remainder of the playoffs here in this episode. So uh, the first round, the Blackhawks won Game 7 over the Flames. The Pens beat the Caps in Game 7, as did the Lightning over the Senators. So the second round, you're looking at the Hawks and Blues. The Kings and the Canucks over in the East, the Pens and the Detroit Red Wings, the Montreal Canadiens and the Tampa Bay Lightning. Heading on to the second round, and if you remember back to my predictions, I predicted all of those teams to advance except for the Canucks. I thought that that was a series that we could win, and that's the only one I got wrong. So as far as the second round results, the, the Hawks beat the Blues in 7. The Kings sweep the Canucks 4-0. That's not good for me. Uh... The Penguins move on, as do the Canadiens. As you look at the conference finals, the LA Kings with a 4-3 victory over the Blackhawks to advance to the Stanley Cup Finals, and they face the Pittsburgh Penguins, where the Penguins sweep them four games to none. So the Pens are your back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champions. So catch us next episode for the off-season of Oilers franchise.